guys, in this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new Cosmo Interactive Robot. Now, the Yankee Cosmo actually just launched here in Canada, uh, uh, actually July 31st, 2017 to be exact. It's priced at $249.99. Cosmo is one of the most sophisticated consumer robots today and is available exclusively at Best Buy Canada and online at www.bestbuy.ca. Now, don't let his size fool you. The Cosmo is powered by advanced robotics, AI, and facial recognition. In fact, Cosmo has a brain that processes more data per second than all the Mars rovers combined. But smarts aside, he's a small robot with a huge personality. His emotions aren't random. His personality driven by a powerful AI is brought to life with complex facial expressions, a host of emotions, and his own voice and emotive language. His eyes even light up when he sees a familiar face. Let's first have a look at the box that Cosmo comes in. Uh, on the top, very nicely presented, you can see there the Cosmo is displayed down below Cosmo. Big brain, bigger personality. Side of the box and the back. Only the coolest robot ever invented. Say hello to Cosmo, a gifted little guy who's got a mind of his own and a few tricks up his sleeve. He's the sweet spot where supercomputer meets loyal sidekick. He's curi curiously smart, a little mischievous, and unlike anything ever created. You see, Cosmo is a real-life robot, like you've only seen in movies, with one-of-a-kind personality that, involves, that evolves the more you hang out. He'll nudge you to play and keep you constantly surprised. More than a companion, Cosmo's a collaborator, He's your accomplice in a crazy amount of fun. Some robots just have it all. Down below you can see also some of the things to be included along with Cosmo as well. And there's the bottom of the box. Now just before we have a look at this little robot, here are the contents of what you would get inside the box when you pick up Cosmo for yourself. You get yourself a start guide complete with what's included a setup Cosmo guide, as well as a product information guide. You get three powered cubes, all of which he will interact with. He comes with a docking station that either plugs in by USB, or he also has a supplied USB wall adapter that just plugs into place, like so, and can plug into any wall outlet. And last, but certainly not least, you've got yourself Cosmo himself. By the way, just how big is Cosmo? Well, let's go ahead and take the tape measure here. He stands at, or he his length is about four inches. And if you count to the top of his arms here, Cosmo is a little over three inches tall. As he's going to be a pretty busy robot in the next couple of minutes, I'll show you what he looks like up close on the back. You have Anki, or I think it's Ankai, I'm not quite certain your button indicator at the top telling you how charged the robot is. Of course, he's got his arms on the front to be grabbing the cubes. And running this robot are two treads with two larger tires in the front, two smaller tires in the back. And you flip them around, here are the charging points that connect themselves to the charging docking station when you're charging him when he's not in use. A couple of things you will actually need for setting up Cosmo is obviously you will need yourself a phone on the back of the setup guide is what is included. This is what you need, a compatible device. You can check compatibility at anki.com forward slash devices and a clean open indoor space to play, which hopefully I've accommodated here with my backdrop. A couple of things that I've already gone ahead and done just for the sheer sense of time. Flip it around here and let me just show you. You want to download first the Cosmo app. Uh, you want to power up Cosmo. I've already done that as well and you want to connect Cosmo. Now Cosmo runs actually on his own network. As you can see on the Wi-Fi settings of your phone, you'll actually connect him directly to his own network and it'll give you a corresponding passcode that you'll want to enter in to get direct access to the robot. From there you can launch the app and of course enjoy. Currently I've got his docking station plugged in by the AC adapter. When you're not using Cosmo, simply just line him up. You can see that the little gold plates there, line them up to the prongs in the back and he'll start charging and he'll indicate to you the top here how charged the robot is by a series of three different lights that will light up. 
I know, I know, you wanna see him in action. So what we'll first do is we'll connect Cosmo to his direct network. And it'll be connecting here for a second. Once connected, you'll wanna go right into the Cosmo app. And every time you go in, you'll get yourself a little letter. Let's open it up right now. And you'll get yourself some power-ups. For example, here, I've got my energy filling up the top, as well as other usable tokens I can use at the top there. At the top, it tells you your energy. Currently, it's at 87, and it tells you a couple of goals that you can do today. So, for example, uh, I've already let Cosmo play uninterrupted for 10 minutes. I did that earlier today. But you can win a game of Keep Away after being tied 4-4. Four to four. If you also play a game of Quick Tap with a better... Uh, then 50% accuracy, you'll see your rewards are on the side of 35 and 20, which if successful, those will be added to your energy meter up at the top here. But first things first, let's go ahead and hit connect and we'll turn on Cosmo. We press connect and it will go through three different setup stages. First connecting to your Cosmo and you'll see his little head moving up and down, securing your connection and lastly waking up Cosmo. You can see he's a little bit groggy when he first wakes himself up, but he'll pull himself off, off of his own docking station and he'll begin to look around. One of the things first too, when you first start up with uh, Cosmo, which is actually something I've already done, is you can go in and meet Cosmo where he'll, he'll actually scan your face first and then you can be able to tell it its name or tell Cosmo what your name is. And then when he's looking around, when he first wakes up, he'll eventually spot you He's facing the wrong way right now, but he'll eventually spot you. And if you want to first set that up, you just want to go into Meet Cosmo. You want to hit play. And again, I've already gone ahead and done this, but I'll show you exactly what it is. So I'm just going to press my myself and I'm just going to place him in front of me. And I'm going to let him scan me again. And it tells you exactly how to scan him. He's going to look at, look at Cosmo straight on and hold still. And you can see he already recognizes me. You can go ahead and add another person too and have a total of 10 if you want. But I've already gone ahead and I've told him my name so he'll know right off the bat. Every single time I turn him on and he sees my face, he'll know exactly who I am. All right, so getting a closer look at the app itself, it's broken up into three different tabs. Again, you got today's, I know that's my name. Today you've got your goals listed on the side if you can accomplish those. Now again, I've only accomplished the first one here. Then you've got your main apps, which has Meet Cosmo. It's a code lab where you can go in and program uh, a different like routines that he can do. Uh, there's Quick Tap. There's Keep Away as a couple of different games. Uh, the top one here, you can expand Cosmos' abilities. I've already got him programmed to pick up a cube, pounce on fingers, which is actually fun. Stack cubes, roll a cube. And as you can see, there's a there's a, a fair number more that I can unlock. And to unlock those, by the way, you'll want to unlock them using those little tokens. And it tells me down below my number of bits. I've got 11, and uh, I need 6 to unlock that. That's right. And then down below, it tells us in the final tab, he's excited to play a game. Now, right now, he wants to play Keep Away. But I don't think we're going to play just yet. I just want to show the viewers the other things that... Now, he's going to get a little discouraged. You watch. When I go and hit no, he'll throw a bit of a tantrum. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll play a game in a second, though. But it does show you here the number of days played with Cosmos 4. Goals completed 5. And he's getting a little hyper now. And the longest daily streak is 2. It says down below also as a command function that he currently wants to pounce on your fingers, which is one of the things I've already programmed him to do. It's kind of cute. He's like a little robotic dog for doing this. You put your fingers down, and he's exploring his surroundings. Let's see if he actually pounces on my fingers. And again, it's one of the functions that he had, unless he maybe changed his mind. Maybe he doesn't want to do that anymore. No? Changed your mind? Okay. So let's have a look once again at all, again, the different functions. The pounce on fingers, again, was one option that I trained him to do. With this upgrade, when Cosmo sees movement on the ground in front of him, such as a finger, he will playfully pounce on it. 
Now, if you want to activate that immediately, you can go ahead and press the spark function. But as you can see, I've already trained him to pounce on my finger and then he'll look up very, very proud. Of yes, I know you did. a Yeah. Very happy with yourself that you pounced on my fingers. Now you can go ahead and play games with him. You can also teach him new things, but if you just outright put stuff in front of him, Cosmo's smart enough to know that his surroundings, he knows the edges of tables, although you might want to still kind of have your hand near the edge of the table just in case, but he can do things such as picking up cubes all on his own, or in this case, he can leap on top of it. He can do a couple of different things as well. Now, let's say, for example, I want to have him picking up a cube. I can go into the actual specifically picking up a cube and use one spark to actually have him use that command right off the bat. And he'll see the cube. The cube is now green, so you know that he's communicated with it. He'll examine where it is exactly. And he'll drive up to the cube. And good boy, he'll pick up the cube all on his own. And he'll be very proud of himself in the process. While he's still playing with that one cube, why don't we change it up a little bit? Let's try doing stack a cube. Well, you'll actually take two cubes. It says two cubes required down below. Place two cubes down. And you'll see that he's already communicating with the one, with the one block being green. He'll go up to it. And he'll pick it up. And now he's got to find the second cube. Now, one thing that could be throwing him off is the fact that the cube is slightly on an angle, so he'll want to correct himself for that. Right now, he's looking around. He's like, where is that other cube? It's somewhere around here. Maybe if I just lay it this way, that might help him a little bit. And well done, Cosmo. How about we try knock over stacks? Seeing as we've, I've already taken the liberty of building a stack here, we'll use one spark for that. And let's see if Cosmo can know how to knock over a stack. Here we go. Again, he's looking at the cubes themselves. Lining himself up. Good job. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if we can actually get him to roll a cube. We're going to use one spark out of our existing 34 sparks. You can see he's accepted the program. Now let's see if he can roll a cube. So he's looking for the cube. The cube is behind him. You're going to roll that over. He's lining himself up to the cube. Mm -hmm. He's going to go up to the cube. And he's going to roll it over. Good job. Mm -hmm. Let's try playing another game with him. Let's try Keep Away. Now, Keep Away, this, this particular game, you have a cube and you put it in front of Cosmo. And the whole goal is you, as soon as it turns green, he's going to pounce down on it. You got to yank it out of the way just in time. If you do, you'll get a point. If he touches the top, he'll get the point. And you can see the score right here. Gonna... And of course he got the point there because I wasn't ready. Let's try that again. And he got himself another point. Thank <laughs> you. 
he's doing very well in this game. Oh, he's beating me, 4-0. Let's try that again. I got one point, that's something. It's hard holding the camera and I got set two points. Let's see if I can actually get it 4-4, which is one of our goals in today's games. No, and it looks like Cosmo has won. He's beated, he's beat me. Yes. Enjoy your victory, Cosmo. Enjoy your victory. And go ahead, you can collect those five energy tokens that can be added to today's meter. And again, today, today's goals were to play the game of Keep Away, which I'll play again so I can get the, uh, the 35 points there, and as well the Quick Tap with a better accuracy of 50%. When it's time to put Cosmo to bed, simply go up to the little icon there and you can change the volume. You can refresh the cubes if you find that he's not really interacted with the cubes well enough. And about and all your how to and term of use. But what you want to do though is just select Sleep Cosmo and hit Sleep and Cosmo will fall asleep. I might also add, he will be snoring as well after he falls asleep. Lastly, I can't help but stress too, when you're finished with Cosmo, simply just put him on his docking station and he'll charge until you're ready to play with him again. Overall, I really thought Cosmo was a fun little robot. And I know I haven't even scratched the surface for all the different things that he can learn and certainly all the different games that we can play together. Uh, he is now currently available. He has now officially launched here in Canada with the release date of July 31st, 2017. So he's been, he's been available now for a, about a week or so. Uh, the retail price on him is $249.99, and he is exclusively available over at Best Buy Canada and online at www.bestbuy.ca. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out some more, I'll put some links down below in the video description that you can head over and check out. But uh, a certainly, he is a tiny little robot with a very, very big personality. Today, once again, we were checking out the Anki Cosmo with a big brain and bigger personality, the programmable, playable, and might I also add, funnable, that's not even really a word, we're looking today at Cosmo. If you guys like this video, certainly hit it with a like down below. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button down below. You won't miss a beat when it comes to future videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.